You gonna rec- you gonna stream too? It's, it's already it's already on. Yeah. Bet with this. I mean, pointed out hats. Yeah, yeah. Let them yeah. be on camera. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Already. Shalom, bear with this. Shalom, shalom. Shalom. Hey, man, this is the Apostle Rakar. We're going to get right to the point first and foremost. Barakatha Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Barakatha Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. By Hashem Rakar Kodash. Apostle Rakar, I'm here with the Demasha Pot. The other Dimash Pot, who I call D Match. The brother. I'm out here, yeah, I'm on the move. See, I didn't say nothing. I did a video the other day. I already knew I was coming out here, but I didn't say that. I said, let me let it be a surprise. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, like sometimes know, I don't want to let my movements. I don't give away my. I'm going to be trapped. I'm going to be over here. I'm going to start learning to keep my mouth shut. Mm-hmm. You know, we got enemies out here, man. So, like, I just make my moves and then I let you know. You'll know when I'm around. Okay. And Lord Abarazza, we're going to make some more moves. And I, I'm not going to speak on that. Mm-hmm. You'll find out. When it happens. Anyways, uh, what was the uh, title? Oh, we were talking, we were dealing. Like today, we spoke to on the phone with a couple of other brothers. You know, I spoke to some uh, bishops. I spoke to some of the other elders of the camp. Mm-hmm. All right, and uh, this whole situation with this nigga Gabar Dama. All you brothers, but you brothers are no longer so-called affiliate brothers, because I talked to Apostle Taha. I've been on the phone with a lot of people. Mm-hmm. I talked to Apostle Taha Saturday night, this past Saturday night. And anyways, to get right to the point, Apostle Taha said, well, look, Apostle Taha pretty much opened the door. So you brothers that are so-called GMS affiliate camps, so-called, you pretty much now y'all GMS if you mm-hmm. if you want to be down. Yeah, you got to check in. Yeah, y'all got to check in. This is why that shit happened. But I understand, like the brother said, that nigga, he came, he was... I guess he was kind of down with us in GMS, but he wasn't. He wasn't checking in with nobody. Mm-mm. Cause I talked to the elder Hashia Charlotte, and they told that dude to check in with them. He didn't want to check in, yeah. so he played on that. But yeah. you brothers, y'all young, and you brothers are brotherly and stuff like that. So he, you know, he, you know, he got off on y'all. Yeah. But the Lord gonna deal with him. Go ahead, elder. No, I just want to say this, man. You know. Um, just because, just because, you know, brothers helped out a, a, a dude that was using his, he was, he was using his truth as the cloak of maliciousness. Just because you helped him out or you, you did what you did, that's not, that's not going to go unforgot. That's not going to go not forgotten before you how about me, I was shot. No, uh, um, you did what you thought, you did what you thought was right. And even though, even though it was to a, 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 a dude that didn't deserve it, you know what I'm saying? The Lord still sees that as good, man. And don't, don't, you know, that's why, that's why we named this lesson, fret not thyself because of evildoers. You know, because, you know, what happens is some of these dudes, they are not of us. They use this truth as a cloak of maliciousness to do wicked, to do wickedness. And... And you know they may perturb some of these younger brothers, man. They may they may like, oh well, shit, man. Like this dude is a part of GMS and he fucking played us, you know. But you see what happened. You see the spirit find, hey, hey, the spirit will find you out. You know the the, the spirit of y'all about Shmi Alshad will find you out, man. You know if if a dude is doing wrong, you know he gonna receive for the wrong that he has done according to the scriptures, you know. And and that dude was doing wrong, and he see he received according to the wrong that he had done, you know. But don't let don't let it don't let it trouble you, because you because you helped this nigga, man, you know. Because the Lord don't see that as, as, as the Lord is just, man. The Lord understands that you know brothers, brothers like you know you, you probably didn't know this brother was you he a GMS affiliate. And you probably, in, 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 in the kindness of your heart, you said, well, I'm, I'm down with GMS, so I'm going to help this brother. If he need me, I'm going to help him. But it turned out the, the, the dude was wicked. But that's that's not on you, man. That's not on you. That's not that's not looked at, to, at you for, for wickedness. 
even though like you know brothers you got to know you got you got to learn protocol you got a hey, you got a hey, the scriptures say by two or three witnesses shall everything be established so you can't just have one witness leading you astray man you got you got a hey, hey, no this brother asked him this brother asked him for this you got to have you got to you got to be in contact with other brothers man and then that's a spirit that's out there you got you got brothers you got you got Jake that's learning the scriptures from the apostles but they give they want to give they want to have the credit to themselves so what happens you know or you know what happens they they they, they go out there they don't they don't you know they they learn they learn a few scriptures you know but they don't but they don't want to say look you know i know i need to get up i need to get up under the apostles so what happened the spirit closed the door it was a time the spirit closed the door okay well well fuck you too you know because the lord said my spirit shall not always strive with men sometimes hey, hey sometimes the spirit will close the door but but now you know like you know the lord is pouring out a spirit upon all flesh and we at the end now the down now a hey, hey, like like the apostle said basically hey, hey the doors are back open you know so you know, we don't want no malicious dude stealing from brothers doing wickedness on our be on, on our behalf, you know? And you know that situation was dealt with through the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> but don't take it hard because you feel like you got played by this dude, man. Because you was doing you was doing what you thought was right. And the and, and the Lord is gonna see it as 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 righteousness, man. God, that's right, that's right. The Lord not gonna say this a wicked ass nigga. The, hey, hey, this is a wicked nigga because he tried to help somebody, you know. But the Lord gonna see it as, hey, these dudes was down, you know, you know, hey, 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 you know, hey, if 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 the, if the you know, like, hey, hey, if if you if you for the Lord, man, the Lord, the Lord not gonna gonna leave you out there to hang dry, man. I'm gonna get this scripture slacky. I don't want to talk too much. But this is uh, Psalms 37 and one. It says. A Psalm of David says, fret not thyself because of evildoers, okay? And that word fret means to be hot or furious or burn. Yeah. You brothers, like you uh, so-called affiliate brothers who are now officially GMS members, the ones of you that want to come and rock with us through the spirit of your how about you, how you're welcome. You guys that, if you're slighted and you just whatever, the ones of you that just want to keep kind of doing your own thing, fine. As long as you teach the, teach the right doctrine. If you go off in the doctrine, you know we're going to get on you. Because the shit that nigga did, we had no clue of that. Yeah. We didn't know that was going on, man. We didn't know that was going on. See, but that's why you brothers got to check in. Mm -hmm. See, that's why you brothers, man, you so-called former affiliate camps... Which y'all just pretty much, but I've been saying that for the longest time. Mm -hmm. I said, you brothers, you so called affiliate camps, y'all really in the spirit, y'all GMS. How long have I been? I said, y'all might not be on the roster, y'all don't check in, we don't got y'all numbers with, but y'all need to check in. Whatever states you brothers are in, you former affiliate camps, you brothers are GMS. Mm -hmm. Y'all down, y'all down. But y'all got to check in with the local regional elders and whatever state you in. If some dude comes in, he GMS. Because you got a lot of niggas that lie and say they GMS, but they not. Mm-hmm. They, oh, they're not coming in the spirit of GMS. Because a, a real true brother wouldn't wouldn't have done that. A, a real brother wouldn't have done that shit. Oh, a, 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 a real brother, you know... Knows that you can, you can't you can't play you can't display that kind of uh, uh, oppression on, on, on other brothers, man. You can't like we're not here to, to oppress brothers, man. We here to heal brothers, man. In the end, with this truth, with these scriptures, man. You know, if Jake come to you asking for money, man. Yeah, you, you, you don't. The, the Bible says. What's that scripture? No, it, thou doest well, uh, thou doest well. Uh, I got it too. right here. Let's read that. Hey, this is this is Ecclesiasticus, twelve and one. It says, "When thou wilt do good, know to whom thou doest it, so shalt thou be thanked for thy benefits." 
It says, do good to the godly man. Do good to the godly man. Mm -hmm. Not a nigga. Yep. If a nigga come asking you for money, see, but that's why the scripture say, when thou doest well, know who thou doest it too. Mm -hmm. Meaning you're supposed to read the spirit like if a dude just got, hey, shout out to my brother. Because the scriptures tell you, right, uh, every man will utterly supply, every yeah. brother will utterly supply. No, so yeah. you got niggas even in the truth that'll be niggas. Yep. Certain niggas that call themselves in the truth, yeah. they're really not in the truth. They're amongst they're, us. Because if yeah, they're amongst, they're around. Remember the book of Jude talks about uh, uh, certain men crept in unawares, ungodly yep. men who are before of old ordained to this condemnation. Mm -hmm. So basically, that's why the Bible also says, I'm just quoting a lot of scriptures too, let everything be done in decency and in order. order. Yep. Yep, hey man, that's I was just thinking about that scripture earlier, because like man, like we have a system set up. If if if, if a brother's in need, he what what would he do? He'll go to his camp, his camp, and if he, if it's just him, he'll go to the region he's in. Now, if you if you are some affiliate camp, and some brother calling you asking you for money, then you supposed to tell him, look, did you ask your regional camp leader? Did you tell your regional camp leader what what was going on with you? That a hey, apostle, apostle Tahar set that up a while back, and I know a lot of brothers, new brothers, are coming in, and you don't know that, but it, it, it was set up. It was a hey, a hey, we a hey, you got it. You got it. Hey, when you read the scriptures, you got to think, man. Like you know, Moses' stepfather set up the order. He said, "Set up captains under you." Jethro. Yeah, Jethro. He said he set up the order. He said, "Let set up and, captains and, and, under you." And basically, he was an Israelite. Yeah. Technically, he was a Hamite. Yep. But Midianite was a Midianite. Yeah, was yeah. Hamites. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But he had wisdom on things. Yep. Because he dealt with affairs, you know. But but like. You know, like brothers, like you got, you got, you got, you got to, you got to go, like, hey, hey, you, you got to question every fucking thing. I did a video called "Vet Everything." You know what I'm saying? You got to vet everything, man. Like, hey, brother, well, what, what did the camp leaders in your region say? And you can't, hey, bro, you got to be a fucking man too, bro. Hey, bro, like we not no fucking babies, man. Somebody come to you, ask you for funds, for money. Hey, bro, you got to be a man, bro. Like, hey, 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 brother, did you ask the people in your region who's over you? Did you ask him? And then you may have to say, hey, wait, well, well, we need we need a confirmation. Hey, you, hey, we need confirmation. Who's over you, bro? No, because these camp leaders have been vetted. You know, we, these, these, for the most part, these these elders and these leaders have been vetted. So they going they going they going to go through the proper protocol. But some some dude has hey, hey, just got GMS on his handle and he asked him for money and even if he give double honors as another double honors possible. Yeah, the math, the, the, you got fucking niggas. That's why I brought out Jude. Certain men crept in on the ways. Every Grammy nigga that'll come on our comment board and shout out on possible elders. Ah, shout out on that, that, that I mean, it's a brother. The Bible I did a video on this. Try a friend, whether he be a friend indeed. I brought this scripture out the other day when I did a video. You gotta f f try niggas out. Mm hmm. Yeah, man. Every brother is not a brother. He was utterly supplant. And that's what happened. The guy, the guy, the guy wasn't a brother and he supplanted, he supplanted sincere brothers. But you know what? That's not that's not gonna be on your charge. That's gonna be on his charge. You know, because even though you gave you gave you gave, you gave your funds to a nigga that wasn't right, the Lord sees that as good. That ain't on that ain't on your charge. That's on his charge. He was the malicious one. You was trying to do what, what was right. So don't don't take it to heart, man. You know, a hey, a hey, hey, man, like I myself. As a brother in the faith, I, I've been I've been scammed out of money from men I thought was brothers, you know. But you know what? I didn't blame I didn't blame all the GMS for it. I was just like, man, you know what? Next time I'm gonna be more circumspect. Next time I'm a I'm gonna make sure my ducks are in a row. You know, I, I'm I'm telling you some straight up shit. The brothers in this camp can contest 
You know, like, like you know, I, I, you know, I went out of my way to help somebody I thought was a brother, and he was a straight up nigga. Yeah, we've all done that. I've done it. I, I didn't put, look, man, I didn't help out niggas. I brought niggas and had brothers stay in my house or help them out with this, that, the third. Help dudes do shit or sent money to certain dudes, and they just you got niggas out here, man. Yeah. You know, so yeah, don't don't take it to heart, man. You know, fret not thyself because of evildoers, man. Because you know what? Soon they're gonna be mowed down as grass, man. As, hey, soon they're gonna be soon the Lord gonna cut their ass down, man. Yeah. You know? And and you hey hey, that may have been your test. Yeah. That may hey, well well, well is he gonna is he gonna is he gonna is he gonna get shitty with me? Hey, hey, and another thing, you gotta consider Job. And what Joe went through is, is 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 he gonna deny me because he went through all this shit? Sometimes you gonna go through shit. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, hey man, the straight gate. What do you? How say? The straight gate is a position of difficulty. Mm hmm. That's what that means. So this truth ain't gonna be no easy cakewalk. If you don't want to deal with that, then you go on the broad road. The broad road is easy. There's more people on that road, but it's a bigger, wider road. It's a flat concrete. It's yeah, it's easy. It feel okay. At this we just walk, but the straight gate is like walking on a cunt, uh, like in the woods with thorns and thistles and rocks and tree stumps and branches. You can trip over shit. Yeah, hey, I was watching that. I was watching. I, I put my dad onto that that show, Bass Reeves. Man, yeah. when he oh, escaped, yeah, I love that show. When he escaped, he didn't have no shoes on. He, the yeah. bottom of his feet was cut yeah. up, man. He was yeah. washing his feet That's off right. in the river. Oh, no, I watched that whole series. But you know, we're, we're going to cut this because my phone's about to go dead. Mm -hmm. I'm going to charge my phone up. Yeah, cut. So, you know, we're going to end the video on that. The point was made. Mm -hmm. So, you brothers, man, just pay heed, okay? Okay. And uh, we're going to be back with all of them. We'll come back. I'm going to charge my phone. We'll come back with some more videos later. Apparatus, all right? Apparatus, all right. Hey, shout out to Allah. To Allah.